Hello all. Today I will demonstrate you how to use list view, edit text and button in Android using Kotlin. So let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then you can click on next. Here you can just provide the name of your application. Name of my application is list view demo. Then you can choose the language. I want to develop it in Kotlin. So you can choose the language Kotlin. Then you can click on finish. Here, first of all, I want to make some design. So I'm just moving to my activity main.xml. Here you can just click on a split. Now here you can just click over here. So system UI. Then you can simply remove your text view. And then you can just change the layout. I don't want the layout that is constraint layout. So you can just select it and you can change it with the linear layout. After that, here you can just add one attribute that is orientation vertical. So whatever you uh, put over here, it will be available in the vertical orientation. Now I want the list view over here. So I'm just uh, searching for the list view and you can just uh, move drag and drop list view over here. It will be available inside your uh, linear layout vertical. Then you can simply add two attributes. One is the ID name of my list view is list view and then you can add the layout weight property that is one after that i want to add a linear layout over here so here you can simply type linear layout width is match parent height is wrap content and here you can set the orientation that is horizontal so in this uh, orientation in this linear layout i want the edit text so here you can uh, simply uh, drag and drop your plain text and you can put over here. Once you put this, uh, it will be available inside the list view. You can simply cut this and you can add inside this linear layout horizontal. So it will be available over here. Now I don't want only edit text. I want one button, but that button should be look like a WhatsApp signed button. So whenever user uh, enter some text over here and click on signed button, I want to set the text here in list view. So what we can do over here, we can simply write one hint over here and you can just uh, uh, type the hint that type a message and then you can click on send. Whenever user click on send, I want to send that particular message. I don't want the EMS 10. I want the 17 so it will be uh, slight uh, uh, width will be slight increased you can make it here 15 also now I want the button but whenever you want the button like whatsapp button you need uh, to create the shape so what I am doing here here you can click on project you can click on resource and here in drawable you can just right click new and you can click on image asset here in image asset, you can search for the clip art. So here you can click on clip art and then you can click on this clip art and then you can search here for send. See this button is lo look like a WhatsApp send button. So once you choose this, then you can click on OK. Now here you can just change the name of uh, your uh, button. So I'm just changing the name that is send image right now here you can change the color if it is required so i'm just clicking on the color and here you can simply provide fff it will be white and this white background see white background image asset of the sand will be created you can just click on next and you can click on finish whenever you click on finish here in drawable there is a one sand image background.xml will be created right uh, and foreground will be created here you can change the width and height of your image if it is required i want 50 dp of width and 50 dp of height so it will be slight smaller right once your image logo is created now you can move to your drawable and you can just right click over here for the background so here you can right click new drawable resource file and then you can just give the name of your drawable resource file i'm just writing here but back why because i want that uh, it should be in a round shape so here you can write but back and then you can simply minimize this panel and here you can add item in this uh, item tag you can add a shape so i'm just writing here shape and my shape should be that is oval 
once you set the shape inside this shape you can define the size if it is required i want that size with the width should be 50 point or you can write 50 dp if it is required then you can just add height that is again a 50 dp once you define the size you can define the solid color also if it is required so i'm just writing the solid and you can just define the color uh, suppose right now i'm just writing the primary color and you can just simply check that the preview of your oval is look like this but i don't want this primary color here you can click on choose color and then uh, even you can change the color if it is required i want uh, i don't want this uh, color so here you can simply write the code i'm just writing here has 0 f0 it is for the green right but i want the uh, dark green so here you can click on the any any portion wherever you required uh, i want the slight dark green then you can simply choose this color now this button background should be available in my image button so I'm just moving to activity main. I added a list view over here. I added the edit text over here. Now I want the button. So I'm just clicking on the button. Here you can simply uh, click on image button and you can uh, move drag and drop over here. Whenever you move drag and drop over here, it is asking for the what kind of button you need, right? So here you can choose the button background and you can choose the source. So my source is this one that is sand image foreground and then you can click on OK. So this is my source. But this button is uh, available in the rectangle. I don't want it is in a rectangle. I want it is in oval. So you can change the background over here. And background is butt back. So what happened? This my button background. This is oval. It is a set over here in this uh, button right now here you can uh, set the width also I am setting the width that is 50 dp and you can set the height that is 50 dp once it is done you can just execute your application and you can just check uh, it is look like uh, what it is look like so you can just test over here to see uh, this button is not look properly why because uh, width and height is a stretch here you can simply remove layout weight property if it is required so i don't want to hear layout weight so you here you can simply remove this whenever you remove this layout weight and you can just check what happens see it is look properly but whenever uh, if you if you think that i want the layout weight property it should be stretched then uh, you can add the layout weight and you can simply increase your ems value I'm just increasing the EMS value and then you can just test what it is look like you can just see see this is the type message and here one send button whenever user type any message over here for example I want to type here Atmiya and if I click on this button I want that that value available over here in this list view so now it's a time to write the code so here uh, you can just change the name of edit text if it is required I want the name of edit text is edit text name of my image button is image button and here now you can move to your code that is image uh, main activity dot kotlin now here you can simply create variable arr is equal to mutable list of now uh, whenever you are writing the mutable list you need to mention the data type so i'm just mentioning the data type that is a string now uh, right now i don't want uh, any value over here so i'm just uh, leaving as a blank over here why because i don't know what is the value of my uh, edit text simply you can create one more uh, variable of the adapter and that's, this is for the array adapter to bind the value inside the list view so i'm just uh, creating one array adapter over here whenever you are creating an array adapter there are three parameters of this one is the context second one is the layout i'm just uh, writing here android dot r dot layout dot simple drop down item one line and then you can simply pass your array that is arr once your adapter is done you can simply bind your adapter with the list view list view dot adapter is equal to adapter right now what happened my blank value will be adapt with this list view whenever you execute this application and you can just taste what happens see 
blank value is available in this list view suppose if you write here five value then five value will be bind with this list view but i don't want over here like this for example see what i am doing atmiya comma mca comma university and then you can simply execute your application what happens see atmi mca university will be bind to your list view see atmi mca university but whenever i type over here some message like this uh, semester right and if i click on send i want that this sam should be available over here at last so whenever you want to do like this you need to write the code of image button so i'm just writing the code like what see image button dot set on click listener it means whenever user click on this button i want to uh, add the value inside the array so simply you can write arr dot add and here you can simply add edit text dot text dot to string so it will be added to your array list and after that we what we need to change adapter dot notify data get set change data set change whenever you execute like this what happen you can just test uh, by default this value that is atmiya mca and university e are added over here suppose i am writing here sam and suppose if you click on send this value sam is available over here but this text is not cleared yet so what i need to do whenever you do like this you need to just clear the text so simply you can write edit text dot set text and that is black not only this whenever you click on this i want this soft keyboard should be minimized so uh, to minimize this you can write the code for example let me uh, first execute this application what happen whenever you execute this application it will retrieve the atmi mca and university suppose i want to add one more that is a sam4 for example if you click over here the sam4 will be available over here but this uh, uh, keypad is not minimized yet suppose if you want to hide your keypad then you can simply do what you can take one variable that is km is equal to you can just simply write get system service and you can get the input method service that input method service that is for the keyboard uh, you can just write as input method manager you can just cast uh, i'm just writing here instead of km i'm just writing here im why because it is input method manager now once once it is done you can simply call im dot hide soft input from window and then you can just uh, simply pass current focus dot window token and you can pass the second argument that is flag i don't want to set any flag so i'm just setting the zero whenever you execute this application what happen uh, my soft keyboard will be available whenever i click on edit text see it is open suppose if i write here thank you and if you click on send this uh, keyboard should be minimized and this thank you should be added to my list view so what happen see this uh, keyboard is uh, hidden and thank you is added over here suppose if you write again over here that is a sam and if you click over here see the value is set over here and the keypad is minimized so this is the way you can implement list view edit text a button look like a drawable look like a whatsapp button and you can add the value runtime to your list view using kotlin in android so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you